right, let's see if this last piece here on the pipeline. And let's see, ship that software. Let's do it. Oh, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. Oh! Oh, hi there. Sorry, I was just working on my new pipeline for getting my software changes to production. As you saw, it's not going very well. We know that the ability to quickly and safely deploy software changes is important to your business. Your team needs to improve, but how do you start? A team here at Google, known as Dora, has been doing research into how teams can improve software delivery and operations performance. Dr. Nicole Forsgren and her team of researchers have undertaken the largest and longest running research project of its kind. The research provides an independent and tool agnostic view into the practices and capabilities that drive IT performance. Let's take a look at how you can put that research to work for your team. We'll start by heading over to cloud.google.com slash DevOps. Here you will find all sorts of information about the research program, but let's start with the quick check. The quick check lets you compare your team's performance with peers in your industry. Let's get started by answering some questions. For the primary application or service that you work on, what is your lead time for changes? That is, how long does it take to go from code committed to code successfully running in production? Maybe your team has embraced agile software development practices and ship every two weeks. I'll say our typical lead time is one week to one month. Next. How often does your organization deploy code to production or release it to end users? Again, I'll go with between once per week and once per month. That's pretty typical for my team. How long does it generally take to restore service when a service incident or a defect that impacts users occurs? Now, we're pretty good here. We put in heroic efforts to make sure we've always restored to fully functioning systems in less than a day. Next, what percentage of changes to production or releases to users result in degraded service and subsequently require remediation? I mean, sure, rollbacks happen, but we do have a pretty good track record here. I think it's less than 15% of the time. And the last question here, what is your industry? The team I'm thinking of was running an e-commerce site, so I'll select retail consumer e-commerce. Okay. Let's see how we did. The research uses cluster analysis, allowing your team to benchmark against the industry, identifying yourself as low, medium, high, or elite performers. More than 30 capabilities have been identified that can help teams improve their performance. The quick check helps you identify which are most likely to have an impact for your team. Here, the program is recommending that we focus our efforts on continuous integration, continuous delivery, and architecture. It goes further and helps me prioritize these three. Have your team carefully consider answers to each of these statements. Now that I have a prioritized list of capabilities to focus my team's improvement efforts on and a solution that will describe that capability, and provide information about how to implement it, some common pitfalls, and how to measure progress. The quick check, coupled with the capability catalog, is a great way to get your team focused on improving the capabilities that will help you become an elite performing team. It doesn't matter which industry you're in, the size of your company, or your current performance level, you can improve. Get started today at cloud.google.com.